So what do you do, YouTube? Mr. E-A-Z-Y-E does it back at it with another video for today. I know it's been a long minute since the last uploaded the video. From what I've seen, it's been over six months. But like I said before, priorities do come first. But if you guys haven't been following me on Instagram, you know a lot of stuff's been going down. But let me just do a little quick recap of what's been going on these past few months. So I am now a dad, you know. I have a kid now, so that's why... Like I said, priorities come first, but yes, I am now a father to a two-month-old baby, yes, sir. But, you know, mostly the other reason why I haven't really been uploading is because of my job, you know. Yeah, that, that takes up a lot of my time. By the time I come back home, it's already nighttime. I'm already tired. I got to work out right after, but it is what it is. And, of course, I still do got the OBS. It just sits here in the garage. I know you guys can tell, but it is dirty. And yes, I did polish up the paint myself like, oh, yeah, I don't even know how many months ago, but it was a while back now. I did polish up the entire truck. You can, you guys can kind of tell by the gloss of it. I mean, it is covered in dust, but still, you know. And I also did polish up the wheels. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they are now shiny. Polished up the aluminum. I polished up this little thing right here, the black. So it's now shiny. Back then it was just like really dull. You know, I don't know if I got, if I told you guys, but I also did change the, or I did swap out the trim right here, the molding, because I did, I had, like, hit the back of this truck, because the tail lights were working, but I had, like, a dent right here, but, you know, I replaced it, so now I can take off my bracket, my bracket for the license plate. Speaking of brackets, I also did get a new one, so I'm able to change it out, and this one doesn't have the holes in it, so looks way cleaner you know but yeah i still have the truck it's still here it's just dirty like i said filthy i haven't washed it in a month because i don't really drive it anymore because of my job i don't like parking my cars there because people are gonna mess around with it and door ding it stuff like that but it just sits here you know just sits here also i did also get another new project vehicle it ain't a truck it's a 96 Lincoln Town Car. I'll, I'll show y'all real quick. But it is a 96 Lincoln Town Car. I, I've been I've been looking for these cars for the absolute longest for months. And I finally found one, you know. A white one signature series, mint condition on the interior. It does have a few dings here and there, but to be honest, the car is mm, pretty good condition for its age. I did get it with 95,000 miles. Uh, I already put in like 2,000, so it's at 97,000 something, but it rides really smooth. You know what they say, flows like a boat. I didn't really know what they meant by that, but riding it now, it rides really smooth. I already polished up the paint. Well, just like a little quick um, paint enhancement because the paint was dull as hell. I did try getting rid of some swirls, but the paint is way too damaged. But when I say damaged, I don't mean like, oh, the clear coat's bad it's just the scratches are too deep but it is white so it doesn't it isn't as noticeable you know but let me show you the car so here it is my 96 lincoln town car i've been searching for these for the longest i literally just got these new headlights yesterday of course you know me i gotta put in the leds led switchbacks right here these are orange but the thing that sucks is these dudes forgot to send me my fucking new corner light for the passenger side so it's still the original one but i mean i hope they send it but if not i don't know but y'all can tell the paint it's glossy can't really tell the swirl marks but oh well here it is i do plan on putting on some white wall tires you know how it is with these lincolns you gotta have white walls on these and maybe put the little chrome trim on it it's pretty clean i'll show you the interior in a bit but yeah, this swap out the the bulbs right here for the light bar and LEDs as well the reverse lights, the license plate bulbs. I think with the tail lights, I'm just gonna keep them stocked to be honest, because it's really kind of expensive getting the the bulbs, especially the ones that don't hyper flash. And just a little scratch right here. I also did swap out the third brake light for an LED. It does come with a reverse camera. I don't know why the old owners put the reverse camera right there. I don't know, it makes no sense, but yeah, I mean, I wish I could bring the car outside, but it's too damn hot right now. It is too hot. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty clean. It's pretty mint condition. I'm gonna rag right there. But it did come with a double den as well. No rips or tears on the seats right here. Uh, I can't really show you off from the 
inside, but I think the car is locked. Yep, it's locked. Anyways, yeah, this swap out the interior with LEDs as well, if you can guys tell. Pretty good condition, pretty good, pretty good. But if you guys wanna see videos on the Lincoln Town Car or me building it up just like I did with the OBS, let me know in the comments if y'all would love to see these videos because, you know, it might be more new content. I know a lot of you guys are mostly here for the OBS, but I kind of want to switch it up, you know. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I do run out of content, like, with the truck stuff because, you know, I haven't really done stuff to it. Or well, just small details. I'll make a separate video on that hopefully soon. But, yeah, just let me know if y'all want to see videos on the Lincoln Town Car, me building it up and stuff like that. It is clean. I do plan on making it into a slab, you know, either a slab or just keep it classic and original stock as possible. I don't know yet. It's still, I don't know. But yeah, I just want to make this quick video because, you know, it's been a long minute. Today's my day off. Tomorrow I got to get back to work. But yeah, man, if y'all haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure to go follow me. And easy does it. I'll, I'll put the account in the description down so y'all can go follow me. I can catch up with me and stuff like that. But yeah, Zerb, but you should have known by now. I mentioned E-A-C-Y-E doesn't. I just catch you in the next one. I don't know when that'll be, but oh well. Peace.